Hello everybody and welcome to Carnats. Today we are going to be doing some cosmetic and mechanical maintenance to the good old Merc. So as you can probably tell there are two chrome pieces missing from the front grille. So we are going to address that today. We are also changing the valve cover gasket because it is leaking. I also have a new radiator cap because the old one is rusty. And um, I have the fuel line in the back because these are unique to this car. In this end, it is smaller than it is on this end. This is the gasket that goes between the fuel sender unit and the fuel tank. I won't be doing these two today because I have to drain all the fuel. So, I think it's enough talking and let's get to work. So in case you were wondering how these go on, you just have these plastic clips that you slide in this groove right here. And then the chrome piece just clips onto these holes. So it's pretty straightforward. So the first one was a bit harder than it looked because these plastic clips right here kept turning around because the chrome piece was worn. This is a new chrome piece so this one should be a bit easier. So the chrome pieces are on and it looks a million times better. These chrome pieces really do make a difference on the way these cars look. So now it's time to move on to the valve cover gasket. So the valve cover is now removed. This vacuum line right here gave me a bit of a hard time, but I've managed to remove it. The engine seems to be in really good nick, judging by the camshafts. And also, if we have a look at the valve cover, we can see it is really clean inside. And this is a good indicator of an engine that has had regular oil changes. Also, a good tip when uh, checking out a used car to buy is to remove the oil filler cap and check underneath for sludge. If there is sludge underneath the oil cap, it means that the engine did not have its oil changed very regularly. So it's time to remove the old gasket and uh, put the new one back in.
the valve cover and the valve cover gasket are back on the car. This vacuum line right here really gets in the way of uh, removing and putting back on that valve cover. But I was afraid to remove it because it is really old and I was afraid it was going to crack. I also moved on to uh, replace the radiator cap, but sadly there was a mistake with the order. The original one is rated at 120 psi and the new one is uh, at 140. So I will need to wait for the right part before I replace that. All that is left to do now is to start up the engine and check for any leaks around the valve cover due to the valve cover gasket not sitting in properly. So let's get straight to it. There are no leaks coming from the valve cover gasket, which is a good thing. I have also managed to stick the hood liner back on using some spray on glue. I am going to add this in the description if any of you guys want to buy it. So hopefully that hood liner stays on there. The chrome pieces on the grill really make a huge difference on the way this car looks so i am pretty stoked on that this is everything for today's episode if you have liked this video please consider subscribing as it will help me spread the message that i love working on cars also if you have any questions please feel free to email me at carnats at gmail.com thank you for watching and see you on the next one